Um, what do we know? <laughs> Wanda. So going back to Monday, Bloomberg reported that uh, Wanda was roughly $200 million short mm. on being able to pay this bond that's maturing this coming Sunday. Mm. That sent the bond market, Wanda specifically, down tumbling. Ultimately, this bond fell to 53 cents on the dollar. Mm. Came back yesterday, we're back at 90 cents on the dollar. Uh, we reported again on Thursday that the company is close to, or they feel much more confident than they did on Wednesday, that this bond would be repaid, that yep. there's an asset sale that could close within a day or two. Mm. And so by the time we get to Monday, we might have this $400 million bond paid. Okay, so what bond payments after this, this one to face. So there's this weekend we're facing, we're at 90 cents in that. We were just flashing some yeah. of the bonds that were still trading at the 430, 40 cents in those. Right. So, yeah, take us out, you know, yeah, beyond so, the wall, what's, what's left? So we have coupons um, coming the next few months. Um, there's no major maturity in the, Im imminently. So this $400 million bond is really the one that folks have really been focused on. And if they can kind of get through this hurdle, yep. we'll be able to have some more kind of breathing room for the next few months for them to continue the asset sales um, mm -hmm. that have been going on. I mean, Wanda Film, for example, there was that deal earlier this week that was announced regarding some of the stock there. Mm. And, and Kevin, I mean, just tell us what the whole impact of, of the broader high yield market has been since Wanda's cash scramble. I think Bloomberg Intelligence, uh, the credit team was really crunching the numbers and saying, I think it was 180 mm -hmm. out of 322 Chinese property dollar bonds are actually trading 10 cents to the dollar here right now. That doesn't really really showcase any signs of, of recovery uh, just yet. No. I mean, certainly that number was smaller a few months ago, and but we've had some of these defaults recently. Central China real estate, uh, Greenland was announced uh, this past week. So. We are worried about defaults again, and obviously the worries around Wanda this week kind of just amplified that, uh, excuse me, the default worries regarding Chinese property. We also have Sino Ocean, which is a state-backed developer. It has a yuan bond that's coming due in August 2nd. And so that bond, um, the company is looking to uh, extend that. They've made some proposals to some of the biggest holders of the note. So we'll just have to watch to see what happens there with that Sino Ocean note. That could be the thing we watch over the next two weeks or so.